everybody, my name is Talscar. I've been sick the last few days and I also haven't been making any recordings. And one of those reasons is uh, this headset. Now, it's solid right now, but that's only because it sort of did something inadequately. But this headset, if you can see, is actually snapped into there. Now, I'll tell everyone crap. It wasn't very durable, was it? It's just holding itself together by a little piece of glue. But that stuff's really strong though. I'm actually surprised it even held that long. But anyway, now you can see it's completely snapped in two. You can see it wobbling like this. But anyway, I'll tell everyone the full story. I picked that up, I put it on my head, and all of a sudden I could feel this earpiece just flopping. I was like pushing it in, it kept flopping out. And I was like, what's going on here? I lifted it off, looked, and oh my god, it's broken. Now it broke almost perfectly dead straight almost and I have no idea exactly why it did that but I will say it has been tortured just a little bit now the amount of torture this has received would be about the same amount as this one's received although this one would still be good if it wasn't for a wiring fault that caused this one to be no good to me anymore other than that this is a razor it's durable because it has metal pieces here you can pull it out and you can see the metal and I'm making sure that people can see what I'm talking about because that stuff is really really durable when you use metal rather than plastic it's got a nice soft head tap thing whatever you call it and it's a really good headset, it's reliable apart from the fact it's not reliable because even though you can drop it as many times as you like and it won't break which is not exactly how I've been treating my headsets. <clears throat> they just tend to fall off the bench or something when it gets caught on the arm. Like you hang it here and you twist your chair and it catches the wire or something. Falls down. Lands on a chair. This one's endured the same amount of torture. It's planetronics. If not, it's received more. Considering I'm still using it. And I have a bit of a hook up here. I'm actually going to modify that hook. So it holds a lot better. I'm actually going to get like a bracket like this and push it straight into the piece of wood so it never falls off. Anywho, long story short, my headset broke. But it wasn't one reason why it broke, there were two reasons why it broke. Well actually, there were two problems that happened and that's why it's not as good as it used to be. Here's one and here's two. Now, everyone who knows me knows that I use the inline microphone. It plugs in like this and it goes all the way to the rig. This is my favorite microphone because with the boom mic, which is called boom mic, it sticks out like a mile. Now, the reason I don't like this one so much as the inline one is because when I'm trying to eat something, I normally use this arm and it's very hard considering the boom mic's in the way and you go yam. Um, from the boom mic. You have to more like this. Um, um. And with other people, some people use this arm there. It's easy. But other than that, this was my favourite microphone because of that reason. And this wire, I found the, where the problem roughly is. There's no damage on the wire or anything. You can't see anything wrong with it. Do, 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 do. There's nothing wrong. The problem's right here. This section here has a damaged piece in it, a piece of wire is broken there and so it's um, not working properly anymore. This boom mic is fine by the way guys. Now, I only asked for pieces, I didn't ask for what I actually received but I still have to do something. Now, the wire is one of the issues that they've sent to me. The, well, one of the problems that is being fixed and this piece here should not have really broke. Maybe it's the weak side of the headset. Maybe it's not because this side hasn't got any problems with it. And it's not broken. So I'm going to assume that it might have just been a fault. From there I got it. It might be good plastic. It might be bad plastic. You never know. I'm going to assume that's my fault. But they, they, they're going to take it. They're going to investigate it and whatnot. But here's the thing. First of all, here's my box for my Plantronix rig when I bought it. This was um, 
fairly reasonable price. I got it in relation to return. Well, actually, I don't. No, it wasn't in relation to return. I wanted to upgrade because my headset broke, and that's because this one here was over a year old. You know, it's gone on the thing. This one here is over a year old, way older than that. And the problem with this one, I've I think I did a review video on this. Is this here broke? This um wire section. Then when I went to repair it, it broke even further, so I thought, I'm not going to try and fix this anymore, I give up. I now use it for audio, it still works really, really well. Not as good as the Planetronics gaming rig, I'd hate to say. Well, I have to say it anyway. It's honest. It's true. That thing is not as good as this. I think that's 5.1 surround sound, or it is 7.1, but it's only got two wires. This one has four, but that doesn't really matter because it doesn't change anything. Why does the image look blurry at times? Sometimes it's blurry, sometimes it's not. I hope it's not blurry. But I paid 110 apparently for this. If I wanted to get one right now, brand new, it cost 150. Other than that! People are loud. <coughs> Anywho, I'm going to do this again. Here's my original headset I bought. This is the price on it that I paid. Although it was because I had to return something, yet I didn't because this is the headset. I still... not this one. It's this headset. I still have it. And I paid for that and I didn't get a refund on it because it was over a year old. This one's just over. It's, um... It's not 0911, and this one was. Where's the number on it? I don't care, I'm not going to go looking for it, but this thing is a little bit over a year old. These things you cannot get anymore. You can't go to the shop and buy them because they've been. They're not on the line anyway. Let's just skip that. And here's the good news I got another rig. Now, this one's completely packed in everything, it still looks nice, as always. And I'm going to use this one from now on. Hopefully, I don't be like, send that one back too, please. Because then I won't have a headset anymore. Even though I have this one, this one is not very good audio, microphone quality, or uh, earpiece quality, all that. This stuff, you can really hear the quality. You can use a microphone, it's really high quality. And mine, they're buzzy and fuzzy and not as great. Other than that, <clears throat> I really appreciate what the company did for me because I can't afford to buy another headset. I wish I could, but I can't. I order uh, like a youth allowance thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm just going over a cold, so uh, let, uh, bear with me guys. I can edit it and you won't have to put up with it. But I'm happy that the company helped me out, and in a way, I'll be helping them out by sending the one I have back. Now, I do have a sticker here, I think I put it down, and it was on top of the box, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's a sticker, it's on top of the bag. You get a sticker like this normally, if it's a defective um, product. This and this go together. I put this on the package. They see it, it goes to their account thingy, whatever, and they take it back and uh, investigate what's gone wrong with this. Now, to make their job easier, I can tag everything and then put it in the box and say, this is defective, this is defective, this is what's wrong. There was only two items that ever broke on my headset. It was the wire and the headset itself. <coughs> That's what's gone wrong on my headset. Now, I do have a bag there, but I'm not going to show that. I also have a piece of paper here, which says what's in the package, but I'm not going to show it either of anything. Other than the fact that I might just uh, pull off my receipt so that I don't have the EB Games world thing. I mean, I don't think they need it, but they do need the headset. I'm going to take this off. It's 
been removed. Hey, they can find out where it came from too by looking at the number. Really? This is how much they sold it for? My god. <clears throat> That's how much you paid for it. That's all they really have to do. Other than that, guys, I'm going to start pulling this thing apart and get it ready for uh, sending back now. And I'll pull the new one out. So then I can do something for you guys. Oh, now that I have my new headset and now the problem's been resolved, I can now make videos again. Now, because I lost this opportunity when I went to doing the animating stuff, which is taking a very, very long time, guys. Don't stress. It's just modeling is yeah, very tricky. I'm, I worked on the car. I did it bit by bit. I started with one part, then another, then another, then another, every few days, just because, you know, you need to have a good brain on your head when you're doing that stuff. You have to be able to do it. Not, you're kind of in trouble. Now this is the wiring, and this is the rig piece. Man, that came in handy. I'm. I should just, like give them one thing for this headset. I mean, it was really very useful. This headset. Extremely useful. Hey, they're not going to get this cable. This is a, this is my cable. This is for a guitar or something. That's why. It's uh, very useful. Works really well with Plantronics gaming rig. Whoops. Pre-sonus. Hang on. Let me just pick you up. Hey, get up there. Wait, look up. It works really well with this thing. Don't mind all the stuff I put put there the other day, unfortunately. Just because I had a bit of an accident to spill. I'll move this over here. My uh, PreSonus Audio i2 box. It works really well. I had it plugged into there. That's what the cable came out of. Now where'd that cable go? Just so that everyone knows why this headset's so damn good. Okay, so I'm going to teach everyone how to use it. First of all, oh, this is the USB side of the cable. Where's the other end of the cable? Where is it? Here it is, here it is. Here's the other end of the cable, huh? Huh? Okay, so what you do is you take this piece, you stick it into the headset part, and then what you do, if you want to listen to the piano or something at the same at one time, here's your switch, you hit here, and then you just lift, you, you drag this thing to the middle to listen to both your computer and the you know piano or whatever then you put it all the way if you want to just hear the piano or just a computer I think the same will apply to this I have no idea but there's my piano it's full of stuff that's always full of stuff I've got lots of stuff in this small room there's the sides that's in case they look at the video and be like wow well, you have a lot of stuff like I try not to have stuff but it just ends up on my shoulders. I feel bad about some of the things in this video. That's just an empty box. It's a very small room. I don't like this room. I feel like moving out and having a better house. But um, apart from that, get everything. Here's everything. Here are the mics. I'm not going to pack everything right this second, but I will uh, say that everything else works really, really well. The headset will still work when it's plugged in, or so I believe. I don't know exactly what's here. There should be three wires, the rig, the headset, and that's just about it. Now I can verify that because we're going to do the unpackaging of this one now, guys. Because it's such a good headset. I would insist on you buying the new one that's coming out. I'll post a link in the middle somewhere right now where you could get it from if I can find out where and possibly sh well, maybe a link to their website so you know where which headset it is because it's a really good headset. It's a new one but it's 
it's lacking whereas the rig one isn't it's just it's a lot better quality it's a customizable headset now this is what the inside the box looks like at the moment the cardboard handles here I never knew these existed maybe it's a new headset whoops here's your cardboard handles and here's your rig so what we're going to do so I've got the rig box. Oh my god, it's in nice condition. It looks a little bit different. For this one, it looks like violet, and this one looks black. It looks completely different. That's why I'm like, huh? What colors are different? There's nothing really different about them. One's not better than the other. They're exactly the same. They're identical. Mine's a lot dustier though because this room really has a horrible design in it. Now this one here, I better be careful about how I unpack it. I do know how to unpack it roughly. And I do know that I haven't opened one for years and years and this is a box. As soon as you open it, it's opened. Now I do remember doing it though. That's a doorknob, and this would be the doorknob. And this is how you open it. So here's here's your doorknob, and you open the doorknob. Knock knock, who's there? Mine probably completely opened a different way, but everything should still be there. We'll check it out. Why aren't you looking at the package being opened? <clears throat> this is a book in here that tells you all the instructions. Now, for you guys who don't know how to read instructions, I'd really recommend this book because it's very it's got good information in it, I remember. That's how I learned how to use this headset and it was valuable. It was worthwhile. I mean you guys that don't like reading, it's worth it. Honestly, I would say read it right now. Pause the video, go read the book if you have a headset. Otherwise, go get a headset and read the book. Here's the boom mic. That's how that goes in. And oh, this one's a lot softer than mine. Well, more flexible and durable. Look at that, freaking bends. Mine doesn't bend like that. Oh, actually it does. Never mind. Here's your boom mic. Now this one will get put to the side. When I start making videos again, you'll be hearing the best quality I can possibly give. Now, I don't remember getting these, some of these audio bits. I don't remember this one or this one on this headset. I feel like I recognise that one, but I don't know if I have that. And then I have that microphone one, yes, I recognise that one. Put that there. I have to go looking for all the cables then. And here's the rest of the headset. You have to send everything back. If you didn't get everything well, you have to figure out how to send it all back. Okay, so this is the tricky bit. They have an arrow right here to point where you should grab it from, I believe. I'm going to say it's a hypothesis. This box is easy to unpack. Just be gentle. And there's your rig. It's beautiful. I, I'd buy one again if I had money, but I don't have money, so I might as well get a replacement. And here's the hard part. Now they have these arrows pointing down and up, so I'm going to assume there's something to these arrows. They say number one. This is number one. So lift this up. 
voila. Number two is to twist it like that. Aha! And that's how it comes out. So here's number one. You grab it and you pull it up, and here's number two over here, and you twist and rotate in the direction of the arrows. Now, <clears throat> that's how this headset comes apart. Now, here's the two different ones. They're a little bit different, just slightly. One's broken, one's not. They look really, really good. Well, one does, and the other. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this packaging to the side. Always do this. Get all the packaging. I'm going to put all this packaging to the side with the uh, box, because I keep my old packaging. And considering it came with this one, I'm going to put it away. I just hate this room. My main light's on, believe it or not, guys, so I'm just informed you now that it actually is on. That actually doesn't work. I'll get back to making videos soon, guys. Don't worry. I'll show you guys this book, why it's so valuable, because I know it's valuable. I used it, and I'm pretty sure the book is not in this box. So I don't think it will really matter. I'm going to verify if I have that cable or not, if I can find it. But I'll pack it all away, nice and neatly. In this box, here's my cardboard handle from this box. And here's the um, thing from this one, though the tab hasn't been completely broken. I think I opened this up a different way. So, there's a cable missing. I have to look for it to see if I can find it. Though, the bags look different in size, so it's a lie. I have to put all the cables away. Except for the boom. Oh, actually not. Let's start by putting the headset away, the broken one. I'm pretty sure... Oh wow! Okay, so this super glue sh stuff makes it practically impossible to put back in the original box. How bizarre! I don't ever remember getting it this high. Okay, if it's not going to go completely in this box, I'll have to send it all differently. Somehow, I'll just have to deal with it as it is. Clean it up, because it's not uh, working properly. This thing doesn't exactly go all the way in, and that's because there's glue on the side. As you can see, my fault. Although it's... So I wanted to fix it. Hmm. Are those screws meant to be visible? Yep. They're meant to be. I'm going to leave this alone for now. I have to clean this up. Other than that, I can do some other stuff. Such as the rig. I can... 
get all the cables and take this string apart like this. I love this. This is almost like an unboxing, but this is a reboxing. Because I want people to know that, yeah, I'm. I'm here, I've done this, I'm doing it. Not everyone has to know what I'm doing, what I've done. But, um. It's worthwhile on people knowing what has to be done when you do this. Just don't try to take advantage of companies, guys. It's not very nice. It's actually very, um. unfair for you to do that, or unwise. Since you don't know what you're doing, even if you do it. A lot of people have done it. Some people get away and some people don't. That's part of the repackaging. I'll fix this up so it fits nice and neatly. Other than that, no, that just because I'm sick, that's why I'm kind of doing this video. The way I'm doing it. I'm actually sweating now. Okay, let's get to business. Now here's the book. That's tell you all about. This has some of the things I wanted to point out to you in it. This book is very, very useful. Very. Don't ignore the book, guys. Never ignore this book. If you get a break, read it. I mean, look. Read the book. Page one tells you how to hook it up. Page two tells you all the other things you can hook it up to. Page three tells you again what things you can hook it up to. And page four is some people out of nonsense, you know. Um, I sound horrible. Because some people might actually look at this stuff and be like, huh? Still all cool. Hmm. There are features on here that actually kind of lied in the book. From what I know about the book, it's not entirely true. Okay? What you do with the rig is, from experience, I, I know how to use it. They say this second cable on the back, which is this one here, goes into your phone, your mobile phone. For me it does not. It's a cable that goes in here, the little one here. Well, I'm pretty sure it does. Because when I plug this other one, wherever it is, actually the third one right here, well, there's one of them that does and one of them doesn't. Ah, uh, one of them's a little bit different. Ah, I don't care. I'm wrong. That's fine. By me. I'm a little bit sick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You learn from failure and you succeed from success. Some interesting things about the rig that I don't even know still, but nonetheless, it's a great headset. Now we've got many of the cables right here, boom mic, inline mic, i got to put the mic to the side. I'm going to tag things before I pack them away, so then, because they're going to probably pull this out of the package and what they're going to do is they're not going to chuck it in the bin. Some people would suggest that yes, they chuck them in the bin, 
But I reckon what they'll do is they'll go along and test this and study it and say which way would make it a lot better. I reckon I know how to make it a lot better anyway. What you, what you could do if you're worried about your inline mic going, breaking or something, you could get this and put some heat strip, uh, heat, strip, heat shrink wrap from here to here so then you have extra durability and it doesn't bend on a certain point. That's the boom mic. No, the inline mic. That goes to the side. And here's the boom mic. There's nothing wrong with this. It's still a good microphone. I haven't used this one because it bothers me. And all I wanted was this part. Well, the other one, the inline mic and the headset piece replaced if possible. Considering you can't buy them anymore. And I just got sent out a new one. Of our instructions. So instead, I kind of requested for the instructions. Now, <clears throat> guys, I can't wait to make some more videos. At the moment, I do feel sick. I think I'll do some Minecraft stuff, and then we'll make some more Terraria videos. Watch the animation. Once the animation is complete. Now I kind of understand already what to do with this headset. And I'm very proud that they um, did this for me. So I'm going to return this headset. And that might help them out with um, future development. For now, guys, I will do this again. I'm going to put a link here. I'd like you to go and visit that link. Plus maybe another link just in case it's two different links, one you can buy from if you're in Australia, sorry, this is all Australian based, so I apologise to you guys from America, Italy, or wherever you're from, I really apologise, you'll have to find out, but you can still go to their site using the first link I've posted. Second link will take you to the site where I can buy it from, and or you go in the store and buy it, it's no big deal. And if you have a problem, you can contact the consumer affairs, whatever blah blah number it is, or you can contact the company directly and inform them of your problem with your headset or anything you bought from them. For now, it's Talscar. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone, or night. Thanks again, and have a good day or night. Or, and if you like my content, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. The more people like my content, the more I'll post. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Please note. I still am sick, I'll be better soon, but for now, you must die! Bye!